how to solve problems involving number bases. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve problems involving number bases and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number one, Billy cannot remember the cost price of all the items sold at his grocery store. To avoid the customers from knowing the cost prices, he writes the cost price of each item in base 4. The table below shows the label cost of some of the items and the profit Billy intends to make. A 1 packet of 3 kg cocoa powder, the label cost price is 132 and the profit is 5 ringgit. And 1 bag of 10 kg fragrant rice is 231 and the profit is 7 ringgit. So what are the selling prices of the two items? Okay, so how to find the selling prices? So first of all, we have to know how to convert base 4 to base 10. Okay, so RM132, this is in base 4. So if you want to change to base 10, okay, we have to label this base 4, so it will be 4 power 0, 4 power 1, and 4 power 2. Okay, then we're going to use the expanded notation method to find the answer in base 10. So equals to 1 times 4 square plus 3 times 4 1 power 1 plus 2 times 4 power 0. So equals to, so 1 times 4 square is 16 plus 3 times 4 power 1 is 12 plus so 2 times 4 power 0 is 2 and is equals to 30 base 10. Okay, so therefore the selling price for one packet of cocoa powder, okay, for one packet of cocoa powder is 30 ringgit plus with the profit 5 ringgit okay and is equals to 35 ringgit and this is in base 10 okay so how about the fragrant rice so it's 231 so we're going to convert this to base 10 using expanded notation method so 231 base 4. So this base 4, so it's going to be 4 power 0, 4 power 1, and 4 power 2. So equals to 2 times 4 square plus 3 times 4 power 1 plus 1 times 4 power 0. So it's equals, so 2 times 4 power 2, it will be equals to 32. 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 times 4 power 0 is 1. And the answer is 45 base 10. Okay, so therefore the selling price for one bag of fragrant rice, fragrant rice is equal to 45 ringgit plus with a profit 7 ringgit. And the answer is 52 ringgit in base 10. So that's the answer. For question number 2, diagram below shows the readings of an electric meter at the beginning and at the end of the month. The readings are in base 8. If an electric unit in base 10 is 65 cents, how much is Emma's home electricity bill? To solve this question, first of all, we have to find the difference between these two readings and then after that, I'm going to convert from base 8 to base 10 using expanded notation and then to find the electricity bill, we have to multiply by 65 cents, okay? So let's work it out. So find the difference. So 2, 3, 4, base 8 minus 57, base 8. So because 4, you can't minus 7, so you have to borrow from here. So here will become 8, okay? So here will become 2. Okay, so 8 plus 4 minus 7 is 5. And it's in base 8. Okay, 
So 2 we can't minus 5, so you could borrow from here. So here will be 8. So 8 plus 2 and then you minus 5, you will get 5. Okay, so 1 minus 0 is 1. So 155 or 155 base 8. Okay, and then next you have to convert this to become base 10. Okay, so 155 base 8. So you want to convert to base 10, you have to use the expanded notation method. So 8 power 0, 8 power 1, and 8 power 2. Okay, so it will be 1 times 8 square plus 5 times 8 power 1 plus 5 times 8 power 0. So 1 times 8 square will be 64 plus 5 times 8 is 40 plus 5 times 8 power 0 okay, will be 5. So 64 plus 40 plus 5 is 109 and this is in base 10. Okay, so to find the electricity bill, so electricity bill is how much? So I'm going to use 109 multiplied by 65 cents. Okay, so equals to RM 70 ringgit and 85 cents. So that's the answer. For question 3, the PIN, which stands for Personal Identification Number for Debit Card, needs to be memorized and kept secret. Yeni has registered the PIN for her debit card. She wrote the PIN in number base 3 and the actual PIN number is in base 10. The following is her PIN. 22, 10, 02, 20, 12 and 21. Yeni has forgotten the conversion from base 3 to base 10. Can you help Yeni to get the PIN for her debit card? First of all, I'm going to write down the PIN over here, which is 22, 10, 0, 2, 20, 12 and 21. So all these are in base 3. So base 3 for all. Okay, and then I'm going to use a pencil. So I'm going to write here 3 power 0, 3 power 1. So here 3 power 0, 3 power 1. 3 power 0, 3 power 1, 3 power 0, 3 power 1, 3 power 0, 3 power 1, 3 power 0, and 3 power 1. Okay, so for each one, I'm going to convert them to base 10. Okay, so for this, it's going to be 2 times 3 power 1 plus 2 times 3 power 0. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 3 power 0 is 2 and it's 8. Then the next one. So 1 times 3 power 1 plus 0 times 3 power 0. So 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times 3 power 0 is 0. And then it's equals to 3. Next. So 0, 2. So it'll be 0 times 3 power 1 plus 2 times 3 power 0. So you get 0 plus, so 2 times 3 power 0 is 2, and it's 2. Okay, and next, so 2 times 3 power 1 plus 0 times 3 power 0. So 2 times 3 is 6, 0 times 3 power 0 is 0. So it's equals to 6. And next, so 1 times 3 power 1 plus 2 times 3 power 0 is equals to 3 plus, so 2 times 3 power 0 is 2, and it's equals to 5. And lastly, so 2 times 3 power 1 plus 1 times 3 power 0 is equals to 6 plus 1, which is equals to 7. So therefore, the pin for her debit card is 8, 3, 2, 6, 5, 7. Okay, so is 8, 3, 2, 6, 5, 7. So this is a pin number. Remember to keep it as a secret, okay? Well, that's all for now. 
Do you understand what you learned today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys!